Hi, I'm Matt Hill, and I'm here to teach you how to mash up different arts to increase your creativity. Now this is a little bit about photography, this is a little bit about other arts, this is a little bit about understanding how to make things that are different for the sake of being better. And I want you to understand how and why I did this, so perhaps you can apply this to your life and find other things to smash up and put together and make amazing things that have never happened before with the things that you do. I've been a photographer for over 20 years. I started when I was a teenager and I became fascinated with photography because I realized I was playing with time. I love taking pictures that are long exposures. And the thing that fascinated me the most about that was finding ways to expand time within what people consider a photograph as an instant. Most photographs are a fraction of a second. But when I take pictures, it's generally seconds or minutes or hours in one frame. So let's get a model here and let's start by taking a basic portrait. Gymnos, please. Come stand right about here. I'm going to find this light. Uh, generally, you want to light the face in a way that accentuates the things that are good for the face. So I, we could, there's tons and tons of ways to learn about this and thousands of people that'll teach you. I'm just gonna go basic now and go with some Rembrandt style lighting, so. Do me a favor. Uh, turn your shoulders a little bit that way. Turn your chin a little bit up towards the light. Uh, I'm gonna stand here at the camera. So what we have is we're, we're shooting a male. Males have strong features generally. He has a very defined jaw and we have really great makeup on him. So I think that he's gonna look fantastic with this and you can see a nice line on the cheek there. So that's what I look for. So the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is make sure we have a good exposure. I'm aiming for F16. Uh, my ISO is 200 right now. And I'm doing that because as a, a photographer who likes to shoot long exposures, I generally look for uh, opportunities to make the exposure longer rather than shorter. So I'm trying to add a lot of light so I can extend the ambient exposure, leave the shutter open a little bit longer here. That gives me about eight seconds to shoot if I want to leave the shutter open and play with time. But right now we're gonna take a straight up exposure. Everything's great, it looks fantastic. That is a basic portrait. We have a really strong character. But for me, that's not good enough. I wanna introduce other elements to this. I want to really bring in other things and take some risks, some creative risks. So the next thing we're gonna do is get into cut paper. Way back in high school, I had a teacher who showed us what Matisse did. Basically at the end of his life, when he couldn't hold the paintbrush anymore, he used shears to create giant cut paper pieces. And I started playing with an X-Acto knife and playing with positive and negative space and just taking away paper. And it's something that fascinated me with that process is there's no eraser. But what I discovered during this process is I really like not planning and creating things out of paper through this subtractive method. And then I said, why don't I combine my long exposure knife photography and cut paper art? There's the opportunity I'm talking to you guys about. We're going to dress somebody in paper and I've already made this outfit. And then we're going to take some longer exposure portraits of gymnos. I don't like to be a dictator in creativity. I like to collaborate. And I think that that's another one of the mashups that can really help you in your career apply your creativity with somebody else's and you'll both do something better together. Let's do the same pose so we can compare and we can show our audience the difference between what you, you were and what you are now. Uh, take a mini step forward, great. Uh, chin up a tiny bit, yeah, even better. This is really a silver screen era style light, it's called a Fresnel lens. It creates really hard shadows. I like black and white, I like hard edges. That's why I love paper and these, all these things combined together. But when I use the Fresnel lens, I get this beautiful sort of 50 style portrait. And those beautiful, beautiful shadows cast by the, both his chin and the paper are complementary. A lot like the positive and negative space of the paper. And I think everything comes together. These are the things you can discover when you mash up. So now we've gone from a portrait of a person wearing little to nothing which is accessible and easy. And you can do that any day of the week to a portrait of somebody wearing something I made with my own hands. Mashes two things together. Now we're gonna go for step three and we're gonna say, how can we dilate time to bring another element into this to make something that's absolutely unique? And we need to cut the video lights for that. 
So now my exposure was a fraction of a second and I'm gonna increase it to five seconds. That's about the, that's about the best that I can do in here with the amount of light that we have. But we're gonna see what we can do with those five seconds. That's where the real challenge comes in. So I have the modeling light on very low and I'm gonna ask Gymnos to move a little bit during the exposure. So after the flash, let's do the same thing where your, your chin is up towards the light for the best portrait angle. Start there and then expand out into some more motion where you bring your shoulders towards the camera without moving your body towards the camera. I like that. I want one of more, your more scary faces. I want to activate the primal side of Gymnos. And you got five seconds. Okay. I'm gonna add another element of, of time bending here. So, initial one, look right at the camera. And this is where we really start adding all of the other elements in. All right, this time, let's try, can you do a, a jump, but with knees, knees up, elbows up? So that you end up with both of them in a similar position and move. Okay. We're gonna take some shots now with the lovely Sincerely Yours and do some more of this time bending. So we have to cut the video lights. Now after the flash, I wanna have you slowly turn away towards the background. What I'd like you to do is get the flashlight as close to the floor as you can and just sort of do this, like gently go like this as she's turning. So in three, two, one. This time I want you to turn in the other direction. Great, that's fantastic. And now let's play with the cape on this one. What can we do with the cape? Okay, I just need your face to start with where that light is. As long as you do that, we can try practically anything. Three, two, one. Great. Great job, both of you. Just go back a half a step. Yeah, now your face is in the light. All right, good. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Oh, that was amazing. It's so amazing that I'd like to change it up a little bit. I'm going to do another sort of mashup which is I'm gonna still be doing photography, but I'm gonna switch from digital to film. And we're bringing an eight by 10 film camera. Now it's a little bit different, as you can see. It's a little more process oriented. This requires focusing an image on the back of the ground glass, and then taking a picture one sheet of film at a time. Okay, so we've reset the camera to include two people, and we're gonna take some portraits of two people moving together. And cut. That was a fantastic end. Thank you both so very much. I just made some fun stuff happen with some incredible people. Uh, and we all collaborated to bring all of our arts together, which is really the important point that I'm trying to bring across to you, is to find those things that you thought didn't belong together and find a way to put them together and give them room to do something. If you'd like to see more of my crazy shenanigans, 
you can find me at matthillart.com. I'd love to see you, I'd love to hear from you. So if you have feedback, or if you wanna do some crazy collaborations, or you wanna talk about your mashup, drop me a line. I'd love to talk to you.